Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia, aka Teacup Simmer, and this is the 10k build challenge. So I um, was looking around YouTube, seeing what all was going on, and I saw that my friend Thomas TV, the creator of this challenge, I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description box below, but he decided to make a challenge with, called the 10k build challenge, where you have to try and build a starter home with 10,000 simoleons, and you guys know I don't do that many builds on this challenge on this channel it's not normally like what I end up spending my time on but I thought it would be fun I'm trying to be a little bit more diversified with my um, channel I'm also trying to have some form of structure because normally I told you guys in my last vlog update that I was going to do like a going to post videos on Sundays and Mondays because that's the time I had to record not even realizing silly me that the time that I have to record is also <laughs> the only time I have to relax so I it's kind of difficult to try and put to record and then immediately post videos so what I'm doing is I'm I already posted on Twitter but I'm also and I'm also going to post a different video but what I'm doing is making a new calendar with a bunch of extra things that's going to include builds creative sims days for different challenges things like that so we're a little bit more organized but for this build I have never made like a I made, well, I've made a starter home before but it's never been like this and I wanted to try something modern because a lot of the stuff I do is very traditional so I wanted to try like that that modern look so I kind of used like the plasters and the like light grays I didn't want it to stand out too much I wasn't going for like huge color I was looking for like a basic um kind of starter so if you wanted to you could kind of do it up or change it however you want um but I went with like a, a layout that I was just kind of pulling together I didn't know how I was going to do this and in my head um it was something that was I tried I think I attempted this like multiple different times and I wasn't sure what to do with it um like I said, I don't do builds a ton. I usually just like build like an area and then I kind of build off of it and that's how I do builds. But doing like a full on like, okay, this is the layout. This is what this is gonna look like. This is what this is gonna look like. That only happened with our um, with our Four Immortal Siblings Challenge because I had an actual idea of where everything that needed to go into that build. So that was a little bit more structured. This was just kind of like Tia, be creative. <laughs> and that doesn't actually work that well. Um, but I ended up putting, going with this like strange like turquoise white used a lot of stuff from like city um city living pack just because a lot of that stuff is a little bit cheaper um I was trying to stick <laughs> stick um with as cheap as stuff as possible I end up changing the lay not the layout necessarily but like how big the house is a few times and like the different um windows and things just because I was trying to scrape together enough money to get this to actually be under 10,000 simoleons and still have all the like extra little bits of like clutter and things like I think I even even end up getting rid of that window that I just moved eventually but so I didn't really know what to talk about during my builds and most of the time we don't really do like story time or anything like that but I wanted to do a story time today because I had a pretty good day so <laughs> Um, I usually spend most of my time um, working and then on the weekends I kind of relax and then recently I started swimming and so today I went swimming and I usually do like a few laps here and there and closer to the end when I just kind of do like a free do whatever I want kind of like swim feel like a mermaid type time um, I there was this old lady that came into the pool and she was super sweet and if you get and I don't think I've ever talked about this before but I work um, in healthcare so I end up talking with a lot of old people like all the time and maybe sometimes during some of my like creative sims or builds I'll tell you guys about the crazy things people tell me on the phone but um today because I, I, I was so I wasn't that uncomfortable talking to her when she started talking to me um but she was like I think she told me she had a stroke and so she w could only use one hand and so swimming was kind of difficult for her so we basically sat around and chatted while I tried to make sure she could get into shallow water and <laughs> she told me about how she was in the witness protection program and how she used to work for the Clinton campaign like all of these things that are like it's just amazing to me that we don't talk to like our elders as enough because they just have some amazing stories like whether or not they're true I cannot say like I 
don't even know. But some of the things she was telling me was really interesting. And so it was just one of those fun things. And I, I tried to make sure that she got into like, at least like not as deep water. And so we had a nice little chat and that, that it was, it was nice. I appreciated it. It was it's always fun to actually meet new people and have like different conversations and I don't know I don't I talk I'm, I'm still new to where I'm living so meeting people has always been um difficult to say the least um especially because half the time I'm um busy at work and then I come home and then I just get on my computer and record and do all this fun stuff um but half this but most of the time I end up meeting more friends online than I do um than I do actually like out in the world because I'm 22 and fabulous <laughs> no not really I'm just I spend way too much of my time just like in my room sitting on my computer but I actually don't mind doing it it's working on YouTube is actually one of the better things that I've decided to do with my time recently and so I just wanted to kind of share that little story with you guys I don't know if you guys care I don't you may not that's possible um but I was actually having a lot of fun um with like my new routine or whatever and maybe I'll do more of these story like story type times um if I have interesting stories there are some crazy things that people talk to me about when I'm on the phone um but it looks like the build is pretty much done um I was trying to I think I was just trying to make sure that the the table would fit in um but you guys can definitely find this build on the gallery if you want to um, under the hashtag teacup simmer. It should not have any CC in it. I tried to do my best to make sure it didn't have any CC in it. Um, but if you guys really um, want to find it, you can always look it up under me, which is teacup underscore simmer one and um, also the hashtag teacup simmer if you want to find it or the hashtag I think I put it in there hashtag 10k build challenge I'm not sure I'm pretty sure I did that um but it looks like I'm just doing some like minor changes like I'm kind of like I'm only OCD when it comes to builds and like half the time I'm like okay well where is this gonna go what's this gonna do is this gonna work um maybe I should turn this a little bit that and it looks super plain like if you guys have saw seen my build for um my uh, why do I always forget the name of my challenges the <laughs> four mortal siblings challenge um all of my builds are always like um really like I try and make them super duper detailed and like have a lot of clutter and interesting stuff just because I like always want to include new things and here's I'm right now I'm just like making some like small edits to the house because I always I did a lot of interior like moving stuff around and so I didn't actually fix the roof yet um I think I'm just adding a few paintings. I'm trying to add some stuff to make it look not as bare because I can't handle I can't handle it when things look super um, super like clean and like I feel like things need to look lived in which is partially why my parents get mad at me when I don't clean my room because um because I, I always I'm like it's my room it should look lived in why what's wrong with it having stuff on the ground. So you can see I started doing some landscaping and I usually just try and do something basic, especially with this build since I was kind of constricted on like money. And you can see I kind of start taking stuff out and like clearing things away and trying to make it a little bit more efficient because I was running really, really low on cash. And I think I end up like cutting out even more stuff. So just so that I could add in some more plants because you guys know me, I love my plants. I love messing around with landscaping and making things pretty. And I think I end up like scrunch scrunching things together and like I get rid of that. <laughs> like there's so much stuff that was not technically not necessary that I ended up taking out in the end. Um, but I was trying to figure out the best way to do all of this stuff and you know, you can see it ended up turning out pretty well. It's a little really simple, really great build. So if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And I